Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season off top, you stop breathing. Yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scopey, the New England representative, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, introducing Rain Gang Radio, the face of podcasts. <laughs> I just see your name, nigga. That shit's hilarious. Ain't no fucking stutter work over here. It's, it's Rain Gang, the face of fucking podcasts. That's hard. That's hard. The face of podcasts. Cause we gonna be talking about the, Moody. yeah, we gonna be talking about the face of boxing, face of everything, the face of these fists. If you disagree with us, nigga, we in here. Started with the God Ring Gang Radio in this motherfucking house. Let's go. Yes, sir. Ring Gang in the house forever Let's and always. Go. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey yo, hey yo, what's good? You already know who this is. Your boy King P, Bodega P, where they boxing. It's the face of Bodegas, man. You already know that. <laughs> Free <laughs> gang all day. Let's go. Yeah, man. Uh, so who's the face, for the as, the, for the, as the face of bodegas, um, who I got a band? Actually, you know what? I don't think I got a band list for this weekend, but yeah, yeah. I'm you sure something will come up that will make me ban, ban somebody. But ban pay per view sales in, in, in fucking boxing arguments that are less than three hundred k. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to hear because you can't be a fucking face of boxing and you doing 250 pay per view sales against in fights that no one gives a fuck about. I mean, but, but we'll but, touch but, on that. But, but yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that later. Let me yeah. see. But, but but 250k fighting Krang is pretty good because anybody else would get 95k against Krang. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, we 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 hype at the bottom of the barrel statistics like. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas make me sick, man. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. You know, I also got my other man with me who now reappeared just in time. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, what's fly? What's fly? What's good? It's your boy Conscious Pilot, the West Coast Avenger, number one contender preparing for liftoff, destination, the do it all for ring game. We're gonna do our thing, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. You know, the face of the skies. Oh. <laughs> you know, right? Elevating <laughs> above the clouds and shit. You know, and uh, last but certainly not least, the one drinking the Beck's beer. You know, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Stella, nigga. Fuck you. This is Stella Ortois, nigga. That's even worse. <laughs> Yo, that ain't, ad. that ain't an ad unless y'all niggas pay me. You already know who the fuck it is. It's your boy, Rome Top 5. Chicago's on in the building. I'm about to face this L, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, Roman's. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, is, my nigga, Roman is a little ignorant, yo. You got like, about the face. This I'm the face of this L, nigga. <laughs> I mean, that's Chicago win right there, cause he leaves these niggas in the breeze, man. That's how we do. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> yo, don't cough, nigga, man. What the fuck's wrong with my you? My bad, my bad, nigga. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt, nigga. It went straight to the lungs. <laughs> <laughs> You're the face of the blunt, like. You got a lot of responsibility and shit. I mean, like, you know what I'm it's saying? It's saying, it's saying, I know we're going to get to this, but I, I'm pretty sure Pilot will reappear. I think Pilot's having a little technical difficulties and maybe a little turbulence in the sky. Yeah. Shit, the you know face I mean? of turbulence, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you when you first take off, you nigga, they tell you to cut off the Wi Fi real quick. Nigga. <laughs> hey, <where? laughs> Put it in that airplane mode, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Chad already in here. Okay, shout out to Terrence Thompson. Hey, yo, what Doc, what up, son? Yo, salute. face of both niggas. <laughs> That's how we do it, man. Niggas just like bosses. What the fuck is this being? Face of everything. Your boy, Doc in the building, the face of dentistry, nigga. You oh, nah, nigga. I remember the, the face of fucking Walker, Texas Ranger, nigga. Like, nah, nigga. <laughs> but shout out to Doc. Salute, salute. Salute, yeah. So, yeah, man. Yo, OG. I, so I know, man, you know, people want to hear us talk about what went down, you know, Ryan Garcia, Javante Tech Davis, man, we about to give it to you, you know what I'm saying? We got this, and we're going to talk about the poll topics because the poll topics were kind of popping, and there's some yeah. responses there that Brother LB wants to, you know, definitely want to shed yeah. light and, you know, and, and give a chance yeah. to um, argue a little rebuttal and all that. We, we, we like we like, we like like the Cameron in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Cameron had the computers putin, you know what I'm saying? We had the polls polling, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> pause, pausing. <laughs> <laughs> the polls polling, but the pauses are pausing, nigga, like, Hell but we, we ready. <laughs> oh, man, though, before we, before, before we, uh, 
me. <laughs> this nigga said, well, you help me. <laughs> Bro, I remember the old podcast. Like, on, they still up on SoundCloud, my nigga. Like, the OG. The no, OG no, podcast. They, they up there, yeah. Yeah, the original, nigga. Like, you might have to throw back them shit. Motherfuckers ain't gonna know. <laughs> Yeah, like Jared Hurd like, versus Laura, nigga. Like this still up on YouTube. I haven't, I've not, I, they're all there. I'm not. Yeah. People see the history of this shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah like, no, ain't, ain't too many podcasts. You gonna see Sam side on interacting with other niggas. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Right. So yeah, so, yeah it's old school OG podcast, nigga. So yeah. salute, salute, R.I.P. Smoke, salute, salute. Yeah. Uh, Doc, what it do? So yeah, we about yeah, to get we, in this shit. Yeah, what the hell's going on with Pilot? Yo, Pilot's connection is going wonky today. Yo, Pilot getting kidnapped, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, SOS, nigga. If you need, yeah. you need an adult, nigga. what's the deal? What's the nigga from Cali that was always having the damn locked in the trunk type of connection? Um, fuck. Well, there we go. Uh, you took a picture with him, man. I can't. JD. JD, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to JD. Yeah, yeah. I still the... talk to me. That's my dude, man. Yeah, yeah right. salute, salute. Yeah. <laughs> Polly like on some JD shit with the whole... <laughs> you got a podcast from the trunk, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yo, <laughs> Polly, yo, look at this, this nigga, man. Yo, yo Polly be cracking me up, yo. This nigga be yeah, wild, I think it's yo. like unintentional comedy. Unintentional. Yeah, we, we, we warmed up, so like... Good. Yeah, I mean, shit. We, ain't, ain't Rome have like the most accurate uh prediction? No, me, he said I he had the most accurate prediction. Somebody both y'all had seven, then, right? Yeah, I said. Oh, so both y'all. Okay, so you, y'all, y'all flip a coin. Whoever want to go first, shit. Yeah, N- nigga, me, I'm the boss, nigga. The fuck is going on, nigga? <laughs> I was waiting for the nigga to say something. Yeah, you know. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, King P up here, like yeah, fuck it. Like, yeah, I mean, right I mean, right. Rome is my Rome. Rome is my little son, you know. He has to. He has to nigga, fuck you, bit. nigga. <laughs> Watch your fucking mouth. With that <laughs> talk, nigga. But yeah, you know, yeah, because like I said, man, the seven was just seemed like it was just, uh, it was just like the number. I mean, it, and, and of course, I didn't know that Tank also predicted seven too. So I'm like, yeah, no, what the fuck, boss? Yeah, seventh round. But it, I kept on saying like, so who played uh, Cash three seven boxing straight? Not that- me. And I should have. Uh, funny thing is, Lefty was the one that told me he's like. You should have bid it on round seven. Like he said from the beginning, it's going to be round seven. Put it on round seven. And I'm like, it might happen, but there was no money in it. So I was like, I'm not putting it on round seven. But like you said it was what, plus 850? Yeah, there's money in every round. No, but plus 850, I would I would never do a plus 850 on its own. I would put it in a parlay. Because plus 850, I usually bet 25 on a round. So 25 on a round, a plus 850. It's like a little bit over 200. There's not a lot of, there's no money in that. Like, that's not bad if you're paying $25 and you could get 200, 200. No, I, I want more. Like, no. Yeah, like, then bet, yeah, yeah, nigga, I don't, then bet I, $200, nigga, I bet $50. I, I don't, I don't bet to win. I bet to make money. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big man. I want to make That's what I was easy. saying. That's what I was saying. If, if that's the case, then you would bet more money. Like, like, yeah, I'm not trying to. Yeah, because I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you still, you still making money, you winning. Like it's simple math: the more money you put in, the more that comes out. Yeah, like, I'm not just gonna say, you know what? <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, but that no. also means more money I could lose. So, but like, you're big money though, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Now, now you can't be scary money now. Like, which one is it? I'm not trying to lose all my money. I'm, I'm not trying to be a degenerate gambler. I'm just trying nigga, to- I, man, you, I swear to fucking light skinned niggas. God damn. Like, all this wishy washy shit, nigga. Like, it's, it's, hold on. I'm after big money. And then it's like, oh, no, nigga. Like, I can't, nah, I, nah, I can't, I can't do this. I don't want to lose. Oh, nigga, what? <laughs> 200. I wipe my ass with that, nigga. I'm, I would never bet. I would never try to win. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, we wrong for even saying it. Like, but then, I mean, with the with the seven one, it was like I mean, I said it on the podcast like Ryan may learn a little something from Goosen, but sooner or later he was going to revert back to old habits. And Yo, was, was Goosen that nigga in the corner on his knees hold talking about shit? I have a comment for me in, in the comments. <laughs> <I have a laughs> comment for me. Now we know. <laughs> you know what? Screw you, Karma. Like get out. Now here. we know what the P and King P stands for. Fascination. What? What? Like enlighten us. <laughs> Profit. 
<laughs> he, he Mark Lamonis? Who, who the fuck is he? Like, <laughs> if Harry Brown's what was he? But it's not. Oh, it's not true. That, oh, oh, God damn! Yeah, <laughs> that was it. unexpected. God damn! I'm, like, I'm, I'm, hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. listen that's not the first. It's not the first time I've been called King Pussy, but it's cool because I've been killing the pussy, so I am King Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, going on there too. Damn, really? did he flip that, but I, damn, like I. I might have to throw like I don't know. You and Pilot might have to battle for the light skins, light brights, or something. Like y'all niggas is. Is gonna have to battle for the spotlight? Hell no, nah, light there. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> battle for the spotlight. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. No pun intended. The spotlight skin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is like god damn let's go <laughs> yeah you niggas are silly though i'm, yeah. I'm sorry Pat. I'm, I'm gonna shut up but yeah like i said man as soon as i saw this nigga start resorting back to his old shit i'm like it was only a matter of fucking time and that's why i was like yeah you know that's why it's like seven just seemed like that was gonna happen and you know this nigga took uh, a liver shot said his you know took a knee now niggas say he throw the fight i i, I he quit he didn't quit but the nigga knew that. I mean, he could have got up. But he he, he would have. No, no, no. I, I think he. Uh, I think he had enough. I think it was. It was a business decision. I mean, real quick. I mean, real his, quick. His nose was bloody. Like, did y'all see the video today of that that Asian nigga saying, "Oh, I injured yeah, yeah, Ryan yeah, yeah, as part." Yeah, yeah. What yeah, the fuck? Is, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit, nigga. Yeah, that's, I mean. I mean, let's put it this way, because I mean that because that because that dude's gonna be fighting on Thursday on one of the, the zone Thursday cards. Oh, so, oh, oh, so it's so promo. It was just promo. Oh, yeah, no, he 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 cloud chasing basically. Yeah, he's cloud chasing. I mean, that, I mean, he was doing. It could be true. Probably. He could drop him on a body shot. It could be true, but right. So I mean, it, it is what it is. Like I mean, I, that's why I was like, yeah, I mean, I know what I mean. You know what time it is. He's, he's why are you coming out now saying that shit, little fucking fake ass Ernie Ryan Junior looking nigga? Like, <laughs> what the fuck you coming out now with this shit, like, bro? Like, <laughs> He's cloud chasing. Yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah, take the ninja to the last on, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yeah, that's why. That's why I didn't pay that shit no mind. Cause like you know, game recognize me. I mean, you, you got cloud chase somehow. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, niggas go like, okay, why is this nigga t- is talking this shit about Ryan Ryan Garcia? And the niggas are like, okay, let me see what this nigga is f- uh, all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People so that, that's pretty much what it is, man. You gotta put, you know, just one on one together. I'm gonna check for him. I mean, I, I probably was gonna watch the card anyway, but I mean, now I don't even know until he. Until someone said he's fighting on there, another Thursday the zone card. So well, it's, it's not really. Cool. It's it's what it's it's one of those blue Debella cards because you know Debella used to have those shits on MSG. Oh, it's, it's going to be one of the first ones already. Damn, that's quick. That's yeah, because yeah, because because you know he had them Broadway boxing series and that was like yeah, he got a little he has a little fake show box going on, not fake, but his own version of show. Yeah, but now I think he brought the series back to the zone, so that's why. That's, that's dope. That's good for him. You need a platform. Get Carlo. Yeah, well, I, mean, I mean, get Carlo one of those. But anyways, let's talk about this. Let's get into that fight, man. But yeah, no. But the Garcia. But yeah, though, no, it, it's like I mean, I know because the fight, the ending was kind of anticlimactic. So it's just like you know, because and then because Ryan before that was, you know, Listen. he was getting boxed up and shit. Like he wasn't, you know, it, it was there was a level. There was real levels being shown, and that was all Tank. Yeah, Tank. Tank looks super sharp. He, I mean, he, you know, he's usually sharp, but he looked probably the best. You know, the, the, the most sharp I've seen him in a minute. You know. Yeah, Ron. What about you? Said you said you also did pick seven. So what about what? What do you got to say? Yeah, um, you could tell right away. Well, right away, Ryan was catching him. You know what I'm saying? Because he was punching out of the clinch a lot, and that yeah. shit, that shit was catching Tank off guard. It kind of overwhelmed him. He was looking kind of like, yo, if this nigga hits me with a left out in the clinch, I might, you know, get wobbled type shit. He's talking to the ref. Ryan like yeah. fuck, fuck Ryan like fuck that still in swinging. The first, Ryan round, was just, the first round? Yeah, the first round. Ryan knew he had to get in there early, otherwise Tank will figure him out too quick. Yeah. So But it took one round for him to figure it out, nigga. And then once he then he dropped the nigga. Then but Ryan got up. I ain't gonna lie. Ryan showed heart. Nigga got up. He kept going for four more rounds, nigga. That's 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 champion shit. You feel me? But Tank was too too nice for the nigga. Ryan wasn't ready for this fight. He really he fought him. Up. He, he really fought him. He, I think he fought him like three fights too early. God damn. Three fights, nigga? Three fights too early, yeah. Yeah. Right. The, 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 the fans, the fans wanted it. Ready? The fans wanted it. <laughs> Ryan wanted it, but he wasn't ready for it. And his team Dude, should have told him. Three that. fights to get ready for anybody? They <laughs> You was never a match for him anyway. Nah, he was, he, I, mean, I, honestly, I, I mean, the truth was they they needed to get him this fight now because three fights later he might have lost fight. Now. He was never right. going to be ready. I mean, he, they he needed was him to be ready. Yeah, well, one forty. They needed him to look. 
his last win, he didn't look as sharp as Tank's last win. You feel me? Well, he never looked as sharp as Tank like ever, probably. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> he, still, he still looked like. But, I mean, he, he was learning. Ready and and the nigga just I mean, came honestly, back off. Of, he just came back off a of layoff and shit. So, nigga, what he had? One fight and then fought Tank. Yeah, uh, two. Yeah, that yeah, one yeah, fight was. He had two. To, to two fights in that. Okay. Well, two. I mean, two. The first fight really wasn't prepared. That was just him coming back. He really, didn't, he he really didn't prepare the for the man. It was like a tune-up because I mean, the four tune-up. You, tune can, tell, fight, you can tell Trank, Tank overtrained for this fight. He was like, I don't care if this nigga can't beat me. I'm gonna still make sure I kill this nigga in the yeah, ring. Yeah, yeah. You can tell he Tank was. Look bad coming he out was the laughing the whole time. If if you can go into one, a fight that could change your career and laugh at a nigga the whole time he's swinging at you, you know you made it, nigga. You know you the face of boxing, nigga. Message. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta laugh when you're fighting. You hear that, Pat? Brand says, salute, gang. Best weekend of boxing of the year, thanks to the face of boxing. I wouldn't call it the best weekend of boxing this year. Like, nah. <laughs> That's absolutely uh, not. Thompson. It was a good weekend of boxing. Um, and, um I, I don't know if I can say the best. Steph like, Brown, shouts out. God be with us. God be with you as well, brother. Salute, Steph Brown. And then, uh, yes, de- and Brandon, yeah, you know, take um, Ryan Sheriff definitely taking that tune up earlier this year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it, w- it would have helped. Yeah, because <laughs> once again, he, he wasn't ready. Yeah, he take that word. <laughs> he wanted, this was a clear cash out because I mean, you know, another thing we might have to mention is the Oscar De La Hoya, B Hop, and Goose and not been, not being there at the end of the flight. You know, they got death the threats. Fight. Yeah, but but I mean, like, if, if Ryan won, what would, would they have been there if Ryan won? They would have been all up in they the cameras. Been they would have been Oscar, up man, I don't want to say what they would have done. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to keep it rated R. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, but yo, but yo, let me end my point. Ryan ended that fight on some sucker shit, nigga. You, you should never in a gladiator sport get on a knee and just look at your opponent and let him fucking just rise to victory. Let that nigga knock you out, yo. You can't go down on one knee. He, he could have got up. That liver shot didn't hurt that nigga like that. He didn't even get up and hold his side. When he got up, he just got up and was like, fuck. <laughs> nigga, no. You keep fighting until you he go down. He kind of get up quick after it was over. Like He waited until the ref said 10, then he got up. That was bullshit, yo. If I was betting on, on Ryan, I would have yeah, been waiting on that nigga outside. <laughs> Well, I know one thing for sure. The Me- there, there's some videos, some Mexican videos, like people like will put up there, and they were not happy. Like you, they were watching the shit, and they were just like pissed. You don't quit like that, yo. I understand you take a a punch like that, nigga. But at least try to get up. Don't just sit there on one knee looking at the nigga yeah. like he like he teaching you a lesson or something. Yeah, well, he was. He was teaching them a lesson. And here's, no. here's, here's what I want to say about that too, because I was reading Ishe Smith stuff, and he was relying the story about him and the late great Chico uh, Chico Corrales. He was always talking about how Chico used to tell him like he was ready to die for this, and Ishe never understood why until he watched the Castillo, the first Castillo fight, and he understood why. And he's like, he's like, not every fighter is built like that to really come back from shots like that. I mean, T- I mean, Chico was a special fighter, and then in the end, that type of mentality destroyed him, like his body before he actually died. But not every fight, not every fighter wants to like debilitate the body like that. Like you know what? But that's the difference between the the A one legend niggas, elite legend, Hall of Fame, all time great niggas, and the niggas who are just right. That's why I respect yeah. Wilder. I respect the way Wilder went out in his fight way more than the way Ryan oh, he, went. Yeah, he tried to get up. Yeah, Wilder man. was gonna was gonna fight whether Fury kept knocking him down every one punch, nigga. He was gonna keep getting up. That's some shit you can respect. You can't respect the nigga get taking one shot, pausing for five seconds, be like, let me get down on one knee, taking a breath and then staying down. Well, and I mean, then as I soon as the ref counts to ten, then you get up. Then you walk to your corner, then you hug the nigga, you say, Oh, I really respect this nigga. He's really great. I really <laughs> look up to him. Nigga Like he was glad it was over. Like you could nigga, tell. Is this nigga your dad or your fucking opponent, nigga? What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? That was some soft ass shit. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck fuck Ryan for that bullshit, yo. I mean, let's put it this way. I mean, none of us thought like Ryan was some gladiator before this shit. So I mean it would have been a it would have been a surprise to me if this motherfucker, like, you know what? He actually rose to the occasion and was like, you know what? Nigga, if he was in that fight, like how he be hitting that speed bag and shit, like how he be fucking training in them oh, yeah, fucking he Instagram clips. Bag and shit. Well, like, if he was doing them Instagram clips like that and shit, 
and doing that shit in the ring, maybe it would have been more of competition, nigga. But yeah, yeah, Tank, those, was, those, Tank those, was in there those, styling them. Tank those was speed, styling them, those, man. Those, those, speed bags, those speed bags don't hit back, though. So, no, they do if you can. Oh, wait, ain't like Ryan move his head, so the, them shits would hit right, back. Right. Like he <laughs> would be the nigga that'd be like, bah, 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 uh, <laughs> like nah. then, but Ryan came out with the first. At first, he came out with a good game plan, yo. He came out with a good game plan. It's just the knockdown fucked up his whole psyche. And once he got knocked down, yeah. he couldn't recover. Yeah. He, yeah, started, yeah, he started exchanging. He started exchanging more towards the end. But I guess that's what caused him to quit. I don't know. Well, yeah, no, because Tank saw that's all good. that shit. Because Tank saw Tank saw him tele- telegraphing his left hook, his right hand. Tank saw all that shit. That's why, and, and that was easy because, like I said, because, you know, because Ryan also stopped throwing his jab, too. That was another thing that he yeah. did. Right that's why, that's why uh, Tank was so close to him. I think Tank was, was never... Though. Remember when Tank was at the end of his jab, what Tank could do sometimes, he would be going into the ropes. He'd have his back on the ropes, or he would have to lunge and clinch at Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia had some things working for him, but it's up here. Like, mm-hmm. it's all over the place. Yeah, like, he respected him too much. He gave him yeah, too much. He, he even said too that much, much in the time. interview. He let he let Tank know, like, yo, this nigga looks up to me. I'm just going to body him real quick. It's a sparring session. <laughs> and, and it's then, a, it's he, a sparring, then he was a stopped sparring respecting session. him. He got, not, he got dropped because... He got too aggressive. Like, look, like one thing I just want to point out, like future tank opponents. If you're a tall nigga, like, please, like you, you're going to have to box tank aggressively. And uh, or if you don't want to say aggressively, because some of you niggas take aggressive and meaning you just turn in the fucking body and just be like, nah, right. Box assertively, but you still have to be defensively sound. So yeah. if you if you're a nigga who never wanted to practice fundamentals in the gym, meaning when you hit the pads or the mitts, you drag your right hand back, you drop your left hook when you throw it. If you're one of these niggas who always getting slapped upside of his head because you're dropping your hands or doing some stupid shit or having your chin up, or you are you not doing the simple basic boxing 101 first week of training type of fundamentals? If you fuck that up all the time. Tank will beat you. Also, no, no matter winning. how assertively you fight. So if you can't pull your hands back like you're supposed to and do everything technically sound while being aggressive, you'll lose. And, and stop leaning. And stop Ryan leaning Christ. for a short nigga. All these tall fighters are leaning into this nigga's uppercut. Yeah. Y'all giving him the the power to fucking rock y'all. Because Ryan, he, Lee, Ryan was swinging and leaned right into that punch that knocked him down. Yeah, that's what he does all the time because he throws himself off balance when he punches. That's all he does. And, and if you a tall nigga, all you the taller fighters that fought Tank are doing that. And Tank is catching everybody that's throwing a hook at him and just hitting them with an uppercut. Yeah, I, I everybody. Like they not used to him slowing. The, they not used to him slowing the tempo down when because Tank already. It's throwing like maybe 25, 30 punches around. Yeah, that's his favorite counter. He just weaves a hook, uppercut, weave, uppercut. Dude, it's the mind. He's knocking, nigg- he's knocking niggas out with that punch. Oh, Y'all right, niggas right. not These, these right. niggas can't outweight Tink. I'm sorry, they can't outweight Tank. Like he's smart in the ring. They'll get- he is. He he has patience, dude. Look, niggas ain't ready for that type of patience Tank brings. Keep these niggas that have a game plan and it'll work a little bit. But then they're like, I, I think I got tank. I'm like, nigga, your game plan only worked for like maybe four and a half minutes. So <laughs> 45, 45 seconds. 40 yeah, seconds. Give the nigga just go stupid. He's like, I fuck it. Drop chin. I mean, drop the hands. Chin up. Get caught. Dog, you threw left three times in a row. Well, yeah, I mean, thank you. Fine. Like, like we didn't see Santa Cruz, Leo Santa Cruz, throw the fucking right hand three times in a row. Like, no, dude, Ryan, like, what the fuck? Ryan should have threw the right more. Ryan definitely should have threw the right, the, the right more. He should have threw everything the right more. Was land, the right was the his right only was punch that was right landing. Was late, thank you. Late. Like, honestly, he caught Tank with a with a couple good shots. Well, that's right. But the right, right it right. was the straights. It was the straights that was, was catching Tank. Because right. right. Tank would lean over to, to the side of the right hand. And he, he, and he got the he got the reach. So he should have just kept hitting him with straights because he knows Tank looking for the hook. So just These he, niggas, look, it's him. discipline. 
if, 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 if Tank gives him a little opening, Tank will open the fucking door. Like, he'll open it like a little book. He'll be like this. <laughs> he had the book right These there. niggas act like Tank is doing this. Mm-hmm. And they just jump in for the opportunity and they do it reckless. Roly did that. Ryan Garcia did that. Like, all these niggas, they got all the motherfucking um, <clears throat> space, distance, reach, power, all of that. These dudes really, like, oh my God, like, yo, salute fucking Mario uh, Barrios. Because he's the only tall nigga who just did the simplest fucking, you know what? Hands on tank. He was put. you know what? Um, I'm tall. I got power. I'm tough. That's a great fight to watch with tank. Yes. Dude. Dude. People are laughing. One, two, one, one, right one, one, bim. Jab, jab, right hand. Jab, jab, right hand. Move forward. And he's fast as fuck. Barrios is fast as fuck. I'm Barrios, but people were laughing. I thought Barrios could keep compete with Ryan in a fight. I don't think Barrios could beat Ryan. Dude, man, Barrios will fucking body Ryan Garcia, son. Like, I was choking because I'm a Tank fan. I'm like, nah, Barrios could keep competing with Ryan Barrios. Sorry, Barrios will absolutely body Ryan Garcia. He'd probably be Ryan. Ryan is not even going to fight again this year, I bet you. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully. Oh, oh, salute, salute, honey, guys. <laughs> Ryan Garcia got gunned up and clapped quick. <laughs> <laughs> Roly got gunned up and clapped quick. <laughs> Damn, yo, yo, where's that nigga who was on Roly? I mean, on Ryan Garcia, dick. Oh, that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hey, honey, got <laughs> Ryan Garcia gunned up and clapped quick. <laughs> Roly got gunned up and clapped quick. Where that nigga that was on Ryan Garcia dick? Where this nigga at? Where this nigga at? I'll tell you what Ryan Garcia looked like uh, this weekend. He looked like a goddamn cherry, man. (laughs) (laughs) Cherry picking. Mm. Mm. (laughs) Yes, I'm eating cherry Garcia on this shit. Cherry. (laughs) Mm. And I don't even like ice cream, nigga. But mm. (laughs) bars, ice cream bars. God damn, that's some bars. I think Tank, you know, like. People uh, um, question that, you know, like they don't think he's stupid, you know, because he has the tattoos, he got the Baltimore mush mouth accent, but. No, he's ring, a puncher. If you're ring. a puncher, you're a crude caveman Neanderthal no, slugger. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You're a troglodyte. You know, don't, 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 don't get it twisted. He's Tank, has, Tank has great ring IQ. Great ring IQ. Like, his yes. ring IQ is like really, really good. It's he probably with information better than Lomachenko to me. He I picks his spots. He, he knows exactly better. what he's doing, and these guys fall for it every time. Every single time. He baits him like what what LB said. He they think he's opening up the book like all the way this, and they just want to come all the way in. Meanwhile, it's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Double pause. They, yeah. they see a little opening, and all of a sudden it's okay. I'm 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 gonna get into this opening. <laughs> and bam. <laughs> they make themselves yeah. vulnerable. Yeah, they, they make themselves real vulnerable. And, and, like, and they be getting like, caught with like knockout shots too. Like, like the thing damn. Is, like, I'm the thing is like I'm okay with like you try like if your game plan is I'm gonna come in and try to bully tank. Okay, that's fine. But you gotta know how to do it the right way. Right Set it up way. the right way. Punch placement. Start with a jab. Don't just come in just oh, I'm gonna just come in like a wrecking ball. Just left hook. Left hook on the inside, like, and nothing's working. He didn't hit him with anything, anything. Mm-hmm. That nigga was standing flames with that left hook. And once mm-hmm. again, he once again, Ryan does what he always does. Where where does he keep his hands? Right in the middle, not covering his face, and definitely not covering his body. So that's tongue cool. <laughs> kickboxing. <laughs> that, is not, that is not a surprise that he got touched up to the body. The, the body was right there for him. Oh. Like, yeah, and and I'll be true. honest, like, I, I'll be honest, like, I I kind of fuck with Rome's opinion on this, like, like, I know it's a liver shot, everybody keeps saying liver shot, liver shot, but I'll be honest, like, I don't think that was one of Tank's hardest body punches. No, it was a like, quick one, it was, it was just, it was a quick, it came very quick, sharp, but like, as far as like, the whipping motion and all of that, and... No, but I, I think to me it was the placement of the punch. Yeah, yeah, it, it was a perfect place punch and everything. Just imagine if Tank would have really whipped that motherfucker, like <clears throat> really fucking turned all that shit over. Even look, even the way he punched and the punch, the punches recoil. 
even made it seem like it wasn't the hardest punch. Because if, if he was punching through that motherfucker, that glove, his hand went in a recoil like that. You know, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, I feel like that's what kind of like the punches that he threw were accurate, but like if he didn't even get the most extension on it. Like for example, yeah. the uppercut that he dropped uh Ryan with in the second round was kind of just a quick short one on the inside that he didn't even get full max extension on. He just right. threw it out there real quick at the uppercut on and it, 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 it dropped it. It was it was kind of, I don't want to say it was a flat. It, it wasn't an uppercut. It was an uppercut. It was like an overhand left, like a uh, short like overhead. a short nice. Left. It was a um it looked kind of like an uppercut, like a you know what? It's a fucking your room. It's that damn punch we be practicing, nigga. He like this way, he brought it up like that though. The fucking that that we call it like the left upper. The, it wasn't a counter. It's a cross counter. Yeah, cross, like counter. Yeah. counter. Yeah. Yeah. cross counter. Cross yeah. yeah. counter. Like, but he came from the uppercut angle. Yeah, like he came from. Up, but the thing is, like he didn't get yeah. max. Ex- he didn't get max extension on that. He just kind of quickly shot it up. He yeah. Because he was kind of close. He was on the inside. If he was a little further back on like mid range distance and got full extension on that punch, Ryan would not have got up. He wouldn't have seen past the second round. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got, yeah, he got a little yeah. saved on that. But, yo, honestly, none of these niggas have really taken a full blown, like, God damn, this is Tank only throwing like his, he, like, his SK like right? final has boss been, punch. Has only been at LSE really that's been asleep, right? I felt like, you know. Like but yeah, that's the that's the, the, the nigga who caught the hardest. The hardest like I don't think no one else caught like a, a full Pedraza. like a full no, ten. Pedraza did too. Yo, yo, back then, nigga, I'm talking about like now. Nah. <laughs> no, Barrios got no Barrios and the Barrios, but Barrios too. Yeah, Barrios. Yeah, yeah but Tank had to do it though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Tank Tank was fighting for his life in that fight, nigga. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If, if he didn't hit Barrios with with some mean shit late in that fight, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's funny because, yo, yo, real talk, like, um, after the fight, <laughs> this nigga rolled, he, he walked over to the door and was like, yo, he he landed the same punch you caught me with. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows that motherfucking punch, nigga. No, like, no, 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 you call me flush in the middle of the stomach. This nigga is But it was still the side, though. Like, that's the funny thing, because I was thinking the same thing. When, when, when Rome was commenting in the co- in the group chat about that, and he's talking all this, I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on. Didn't LB hit you with the same punch that dropped you? Because I saw that TikTok thing too. But if there was a rough there, you see the comments. A nigga in the comment was like, "Liver shot, <laughs> nigga." If if there was a ref there, counting the ten in my face, and my bitch is there, and my mama's there, and then money's on the line. <laughs> and I bet all this shit, nigga. I would have got up and whooped that nigga's ass. I yeah, promise. No, 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 honestly. Wait, nigga, we cut up. I couldn't let the whole shit play for another extra twenty seconds. I, I mean, honestly, the way you dropped Rome, some wrestlers just waved that off immediately. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this I would have called for the rematch. I would have called for the rematch. That rep, <laughs> that rep cheated me. <laughs> that rap would have been <laughs> nigga. We was waiting for Kenny Porter to hop out the tree or some shit, listen, nigga. Like, listen. First of all, I reacted right away. Ryan waited so, five seconds, so, backed uh, up, uh, went to the corner, got on one knee, looked at taking his eyes, and then looked at the ground. That was some bullshit. Was bloody and shit. No, no. Yeah, yeah. He was he was trying to get a relationship. He like, looked at Tank like this, and then looked down in defeat. That's the way you go. That was the, the most, man, This nigga Rome looked down the whole time. He's like, fuck that. I if, I was, if I was Mexican, I'll be mad as fuck. No. <laughs> uh, shout, shout, shout out to Android. Shout out to Android, by the way. I see the comment. That's oh, damn. Comment. My bad. Yo, yo, salute yeah. Android. What did you do? going oh. crazy. Yo, that, that, fight, that fight was pot shot central. I wish there were more combos. I rewatched it, and I don't even think I saw one three punch combo. Even two punch combos. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah pretty much. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, Android. Like, yo, this new era of boxing niggas is scared of combos, but they they love doing it in the videos on mitts and shit. Yeah, but in real good. fights, you might get a couple. You might get a two piece. You know, you might get a three yeah. piece. Maybe a I mean, rare. Three piece. Dude, remember when black fighters used to light niggas up with combos? What happened to that? Yeah, yeah. You're, 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 like now, you're the only way you can get a three piece 
Go to KFC. That's your idea. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's like only Regis be doing that shit uh, off the top of my head. Program. No, Gary Russell does it. So, but you oh, yeah, Turbo Fist. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How the fuck I forgot? Oh, yeah, I could. That's how I forget. You don't fight enough. That's how I forget. I'm going to say, how could I forget? But yeah. Yeah, no. But I mean, and, and to me, I mean, and to me, Android, I mean, that's what, I mean, this fight, like, I mean, yeah, don't like, this fight, up, I mean, know. I know the casuals probably love the fight and, you know, it seemed like, yay, Ryan got knocked out. But the fight in itself just didn't do anything for me. It was just like, okay. Old man hating. Yeah, I mean, it's I'll not hating. It's, it's the truth. If it, it was an event. I was here for it. Yeah, it, 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 basically it was like Mayweather Pacquiao, like it was an event. Nah, I didn't go fuck that. Now that you see uh, that, uh, yeah, let, me, let me go in on that now. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Honestly, this is the energy that Mayweather Pacquiao should have had. I'm talking about the within the last month or so, like Mayweather Pacquiao was like a dud to me as an event wise compared to this. It didn't have nowhere near the casual engagement and with the fans, none of that shit. The social media, none of that shit. Real shit. And the reason why I say this, because the whole Mayweather Pacquiao, that was some corporate business shit. They didn't even have the public at the weigh-ins. They didn't have no public media workouts, none of that shit. They kept the fans away from that shit. Yeah, and the seats were expensive. And the fans rewarded them for that bullshit. And so it's like that fight honestly did more harm for boxing than good. I don't care what anybody says. Like niggas could pull up. Like I'll argue it till I'm fucking purple, nigga. But real talk, that that, that fight only benefited those niggas who was making money from it. Honestly, like it really didn't do nothing else for nobody career. Honest to God. Like, like at least this shit had the buzz, the engagement. Everybody was fucking talking about it. Fucking non-stop. 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 Bitches who I know who won't fucking watch boxing Never hit watched. me up. Oh, how you gonna watch the fight? Motherfucker. You know I'm gonna watch the fight. <laughs> <laughs> we got that drone footage, nigga. Ring game drone footage. I wanna say Ryan actually gave I think he just made a business decision. I mean his nose was bloody. Body was hurting. No, he, was he made a bitch decision. decision. He, he made up, a bitch nigga decision. I'm saying, if he got back up, it would have been like you know Juan Manuel Marquez Pacquiao. You know, it would have been a meme central. We would still be looking at memes today of him lying out flat. So I think nigga, you a Mexican warrior? Go out on your fucking field. Yeah, nigga, you're in the, you're a professional Mexican, boxer. Nigga. Nigga. I mean, no offense, he's Mexican American from California. He ain't. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you know, I'm just saying. Exactly. That's real. All these other niggas come here and be like, oh, I'm this American. I'm that American. Nigga. I mean, I mean let's put it this way. Because, you know, because because remember in the build up, this nigga was talking about, you know, he, he was going to end his career, all this other shit. Because he was talking. Yeah. About like, wh- where was that energy? Yeah. And then yeah, after that, he was that, like, that. you know, I got the, you got the best of me, and I'm, you know, this. No, that I'm first of all, I, I do like Ryan want to make excuses, though. Like, I, I've never been a, a Ryan hater. I never called him Queen Ryan or been hating. I, 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 you know, I was critical of his talent, of, of you know, his status to where he's I was a but, big um, critic of Ryan Garcia. But, but, he, but he's just lost his stride. Oh, we it, know, like, nigga. Like, uh, ain't, uh, ain't uh, the Gar- what Garcia do you even fuck with, actually? Mikey Garcia. So, I mean, I'm a... But, nigga, you got bars. You have bars for Mikey Garcia. Yeah, when he started being, you know, we started doing what he was doing. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Danny Garcia, Ryan Garcia, like... Well, no, Ryan Garcia... Hector Garcia, like, nigga... I mean, nigga, you have to understand something, because, you know... Cause, Thank God my last name ain't Garcia shit. Because, you know, because, uh, you know, with Ryan Garcia, because, you know, I've been, cont- I've been doing it ever since, you know, he got, he almost lost to that jobber way back. Yo, hold on, hold on. Do you at least like, 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 like Robert Garcia? Like, yeah, he's a great... Champion. I know, right? <laughs> You don't like no Garcia. Robert Garcia is a former champion too. Right? You don't like, you don't like, like, you don't like dude. Me, me and Pat old enough to remember watching this nigga get smacked around by Corrales and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, Pat don't even like Pat don't like Hector Luis Garcia. You know? <laughs> no Garcia. You don't, you don't smoke out of Garcia Vega. Garcia. Yeah, you don't like Garcia Vega. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like Charlie Garcia. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry though, but yeah, that, I mean, Ryan Garcia, like, I mean, because everything about no, like, true. Yeah, true. everything was, was like non serious. I mean, the social media thing was whatever, but you know, it was just like, oh my god, wow, you know, the, you know, that yeah, that, that, little, little like, yeah, like, that, 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 that was Oscar De La Hoya Jr. for me, but he didn't really make excuses. He didn't mention the uh, weight, he didn't mention the weight on uh, the hydration clause. Like, I'm a root for him, you know, I mean, I never really was against them, but I mean, 
you know, I hope he, I hope he comes back. He's good for the sport. Shout, shout out to Small sport. Mind Ed. He's got some interesting uh, comments. Ryan Garcia tapped out the salvage. His social media presence. Yeah, got he, he was going to get memed. He was going to get memed. Got like his bag head. and bounced. He really wants to make his money at 140. Well, sorry, Small Mind Ed. That money at 140 is blood money. Right. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> I, know, I know what I, I think a, real, a realistic fight would be um Jose Zepeda and, and I, I think that damn I'm missing all these comments I'm scrolling back I'm I'm on my pilot shit I'm scrolling up don't let my bottles from LA hear that once okay. once Tank beats Shakur even he will move up to 140 well if I would love to see that fight. I'm not going to automatically give Tank the win in that one. That's a great fight. Yeah, and, and that's another thing that that's that's, that's kind of annoying me too. Like the, all the post fight conversation, like where does Tank go? Like for some reason, niggas don't want Tank to to be in the mix to actually fight Haney or to fight Shakur or fight some a fight. Uh, you no, know, we, a top three fighter. We want to. Man, we hey, want to King, King, you know what time it is. We want to, but but realistically, it's going to be like a De Los Santos or. Um, Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, look, look. We changing the narrative. There's no every fight is realistic now. Cause you know why? We got Tank versus Garcia. So yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no more of this fucking uh realistically. No, niggas cross the street, whatever did what they had to do, and we got a major super on, fucking so, fight. So 